One of the reasons I'm impressed with and feel that this is a real pace setter is that they have thought of all modes of transportation in connection with aviation. And I am trying to impress upon all of our people, whether they're in aviation or highways or uh, mass transit, that one can't work without the other. There has to be an interface with all modes of transportation. And this airport, fortunately, is served extremely well by highways, which have been upgraded and are being upgraded, as you know. Uh, it uh, will also have the opportunity for stall operation, the short takeoff planes. It will also have uh, uh, a good possibility of some high-speed ground transportation, which uh, they have already inquired about and are soliciting help from us on. And uh, if they do as good a job in this area as they've done in much of their other work, uh, this could be looked upon favorably, depending on how much money the Congress makes available to us and the administration. Is it open date, or how much of it? I don't know that all of this can be achieved by opening date, which is mid-73 as I remember it. Uh, but uh, their uh, forecasts, of course, uh, not only for uh, passenger service, <coughs> but their forecast for air cargo uh, just impressed me tremendously, uh, namely uh, 200 uh, berths for, that is for 200 C5As, uh, which would make it the biggest seaport in the nation. Uh, that is, it would carry as much tonnage or more tonnage or, than any seaport in the nation. That would not require this high-speed ground transportation. But insofar as passions are concerned, I think that uh, a high-speed ground transportation facility could be built, perhaps not in time for the opening of the airport, but sufficiently uh, close to that date when you will not have the passenger volumes naturally they'll have two or three years after they open. Secretary, what are your preliminary findings on your report? Uh